uh, welcome, 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 welcome Sagittarians, let's check in and see what is happening for your reading. Please remember to like and share these videos. This week is the second week of uh, um, July and I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. So let's see what is coming up for you guys. We have the 10 of air. So the energy of the 10 of hair that is coming up is um, um, being stabbed in the back for some of you Sagittarian. However, this is happening and transpiring. The 10 of hair is always worries. It's always communication. It's always uh, the end of difficulty situation because it's as if you're down and out and the end is coming in. Embrace the changes and expect things to get better now. Okay, receiving from um, the um, addition. So you could be recovering from some addiction, some issues, some situation in your life, Sagittarian. And this is going to be good because what is happening and transpiring is that you have come to a bottom and you are going to be building um, up yourself again after some destructive thing um, that is about to leave your life. Okay. So be aware of this, um, a whole lot of communication, a whole lot of you could be finding out that you were stabbed in the back and you're coming out of this situation because you have found out that there was some sort of an issue that was created and now it's been resolved. So let's see what you have coming up here. I see some of you are dealing with a co-worker, whatever this situation is, some of you in service, I see... Um, some communication could have been coming into you that has to do with service. I see wealth is here for some of you, and this is really wonderful. Um, then I see love is also coming in, so this is wonderful, a really wonderful alignment of energy. Then I see the enemy. So whatever is happening and transpiring, I see the enemy. As some of you are dealing with uh, a co-worker that is... Uh, um, your enemy so be aware of this okay be aware of this be on the lookout stand up because this situation some of you um, this enemy could be someone who you're in a relationship with this enemy could be someone at the workplace so be aware of that then we see an adjoinment a friend is going to be coming in a friend is going to be there some of you you could have a friend enemy okay this is someone who befriend you, but they're your worst enemy. Then I see um, the Grand so Consola. Um, this has to do with uh, your, um, you know, going things over in your head because you found out something. And I see a tower moment. A tower moment is coming down for a friend enemy. So whatever the issue and the situation is, uh, I see some of you um, could be um, melancholy, amalito. Uh, I'm a lot of, um, where um, there is some stress that is going on in your life. So you got to be aware of this, what is happening and what is coming up. So let's see um, this um, co-worker, what is transpiring. I see a co-worker. Um, you could be finding out and seeing the truth of a co-worker, someone around you, someone who you do business with. Um, you could be finding out the truth about this person. Light is shedding on a co-worker, okay? And I see um, this it can be a cancer, whatever is transpire, whoever this co-worker is can be a cancer, but I see truth is coming out about this co-worker or it could be just someone who is you're in business with. So, now, whatever is transpiring and whatever truth is coming out about this person, there is no success for this person. Okay, there's absolutely no success because people are finding out some information about this person. I see some of you are going to be turning away and leaving a situation behind you. Um, it could be that some of you are dealing with a co-worker that is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. I see truths are going to be coming out about the Pisces uh, person. Whatever truth is coming out, there is something about this person, materialistic stability and wealth. That is definitely, definitely going to be coming out. New love is coming in. Some of you were in a relationship. There could have been some conflicts, but it's not over. Um, this is wonderful and positive. 
and um, this could be someone who is an Aries, um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius, a young Aries Leo or Sagittarius that some of you could have been in a relationship with. There is some conflicts, but it is not over. Your enemy um, is, uh, um, this um, looks like your enemy has to do with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. You're going to be finding out something about your enemy who this person is and what is happening and transpire. And I see um, that message is going to be coming in from um, uh, uh, um, uh, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Now, for some of you, you're definitely having some issues with your kids. So be aware of that. And this is going to be creating some form of... Uh, um, imbalance in your world where there is sadness there's bittersweet of sadness so um, um, this is transpiring whatever is transpiring a whole lot of situation is coming out about kids so if you have kids you're going to be having some sort of a worries or issues that is transpiring with kids around you a whole lot of you are in some thinking a whole lot of you are thinking now a friend you're going to be seeing some deceptive play with a friend whoever this friend is uh, um some information um the ten of uh, the ten of swords came up twice and the eight of one so you're going to be receiving some information about a friend whoever this friend is it could be a gemini uh, some of you are going to be receiving some information about this gemini or this gemini is going to be bringing some information to you the Wheel of Fortune is here and I see a whole lot of you are like melancholy over something from the past. You're going over and over and over in your mind about something in the past that is um, the Wheel of Fortune is bringing up back a situation with a whole lot of money from in the past. So there is um, a whole lot of issues that is going on around some of you and uh, and uh, these are past issues that is coming up from the past. However, way these issues are recurring, it has to do with a whole lot of money. A tower moment could be coming down for you and your partner. The end of a relationship for you and your partner um, could be coming in for some of you. And uh, uh, yes, um, definitely. So some of you, the end of a relationship could be coming in. I see a relationship could be just uh, um, ending abruptly. However, this is transpiring. I see definitely that some abruptly, abrupt, abruptiveness with your relationship is going to be coming in where a relationship is just going to be ending abruptly. So it could be that some of you are dealing with a, a situation that has to do with a cancer. Um, if you're in a relationship with a cancer, I see that this could be just abruptly ending just out of the blues, um, whatever is transpiring. What you guys have to think about in this week, because you have the energy of the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords, it has to do with a friend. A friend stabbed you in the back. And I see you're going to be receiving a lot of information that is coming to you. Whoever this friend is and whatever has transpired, you're going to be realizing that a friend um, really stabbed you in the back. And whatever the reason and the issues is, that is... Uh, the foundation and I see that some of you are going to be thinking about moving forward in whatever way that you can I see um, relocating moving forward is the foremost thing on some of you minds okay it is as if uh, some of you want to relocate and just move forward and let go of an issue and a situation so however this is coming up and transpiring be aware that you have to make certain decision based upon um, what is transpiring around you and give it time, give it time before you make that move because uh, whatever is transpiring, I see truths are going to be coming out. Some of you are a little bit unclear of what is the next move for you and there is some, um, yeah, you're definitely unclear of what direction to go. So that is definitely going to be some form of an issue and situation that is coming up. So I see that some of you are going to be having some issues with kids. And I see that some of you, your enemy is trying to create some sort of an issue. And this is someone on the work floor or it could be 
a lover, an ex-lover, an ex-partner. But whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, it is affecting you um, in a, a mental way because you're um, thinking, thinking, thinking of what is transpiring. I see that you're dealing with a fire sign person. This is uh, um, the queen. This person is a fire sign person. Um, this person is a, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person. And this person is ill, okay? And this person could have been your greatest enemy. So this person could be a Pisces and they're seeing the truth, um, what this person has done to you and your materialistic wealth. Um, this person could be a mother figure or the mother of your child. So you men be aware. But whatever is transpiring, you men have to be on top of your game because there is some real undesirable things that is happening and is transpiring whatever the situation um that is happening some of you um who were in a relationship especially you younger people um between the age of 18 and 45 and you were in a relationship i'm seeing that there was some complication um because of maybe your in-laws or maybe um uh, your partner mother or this could be someone who have intervened, but it's coming up as a partner, mother, and that sort of a thing. But there is um, so many issues because I see a lot of you are dealing with younger people who have created some issues in your world. And these younger people have to do with uh, um, a Aquarian, Gemini, and Libra, and a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person where there was some sort of a form of issues and situation that you were dealing with. So emotionally, I see um, some emotional situation that is transpiring between you and a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. This is a Scorpion person or a Cancer person, a very unsavable person that has uh, been trying to create some form of an issue. I see truths is going to be coming out about... Uh, a very um, um, rich um, Pisces woman and you're going to be realizing that this woman is a little bit off uh, is a really deceptive person and this person is a really a little bit off uh, and um, there is something about their materialistic well they could be pretending as if they're financial stable but they are not really and um, you're going to be like finding this out because this person is doing as if, uh, you know, they have everything they want. But is it so? And it has to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion woman. So I see truths is going to be coming out. This person is a little bit off. So it could be a family member, but also it could be just uh, that you're dealing with some form of an issue that is created in your world. Be careful of uh, a Gemini person. Um, this person um, could be bringing out some information to you. Um, um, this person could be a friend, but I see this person at all moment also could be coming in for this person because this person was your greatest enemy and you were not aware of this. A whole lot of ch issues with children or younger people that create some sort of uh, issues in your world. The Wheel of Fortune could be bringing back an issue with um, um, money in your world because this is a, something that is coming back in your world and it has to do with money. But I see that some help could be coming in um, for you guys. And whatever is transpiring, I see um, a resolution is going to be coming in. And they're going to be finding out um, that a colleague as yeah, the... the the deceptiveness of a colleague is going to be over. So, however, um, whatever issue you're having with a colleague that has created some deceptiveness is definitely going to be over. But be aware of a tower moment that is coming down and it's like an abrupt end to your relationship that is going to be happening. Okay? So, be aware of that. It could be your relationship or it could be a friendship um, with a family member or that sort of a thing. But, there is definitely going to be um, an abrupt moment that is going to be coming in. And this you have to let go. 
let go and let whatever needs to leave your life uh, leave because um, this is the time for an healing to come in. So I'm leaving it there. Um, I love you guys. Um, whatever it is, try to do the best. Um, 10, a lot of communication, a lot of information is going to be coming in. It's a week that is going to be a very fast week. Things are going very fast in this week. I gotta go. Namaste. Thank you.